Hello, how's everybody doing? This is Sean Hopkins from Hopkins Armor Holdings. Today I'd like to talk about a few uh, South Carolina state law traffic offenses that, to me, I think a lot of municipalities aren't doing what they need to do to get the law available so that people can be able to look it up. Uh, every time I've tried to research, whether it's Columbia Police Department, Richland County, Lexington County, City of Lexington, or any of the other places that I've looked up, nobody offers to have the municipal ordinances or the South Carolina state laws available so that people can look up to see what the law is. Now, everybody can go to South Carolina Gov uh, or South Carolina Legislature online. You can look it up the hard way if you've got access to the internet. <clears throat> but what I want to do is I want to talk about a few things that as a police officer since 1997, I have repeatedly seen multiple times and that's people think that there's something built into the law that allows them to get away with what they're doing, whether it's speeding or raising, elevating a vehicle, changing the lights on the vehicle. So let's talk about a few of them. Under South Carolina state law, the maximum posted speed limit is the white sign that you see driving down the road. In the case where there's only one speed limit sign, for example, if it says 35 miles per hour, that is the maximum posted speed limit for that stretch of road. Now everybody's going to say, well, where does the speed limit actually start? It starts at the sign itself. The sign is the threshold. So the 35 mile an hour sign starts the speed limit for that zone. So you have to pass the sign and you're in the 35 mile an hour zone. It's not when you can first see the sign. It's not, well, I'll get there when I get there. No. When you see the sign, that sign starts the threshold. Most of us would say, well, why don't they paint a line on the road? Well, maybe they should. If you've got an idea of how we can enforce the laws better, then please contact your legislatures, contact the South Carolina Department of Transportation personnel, and tell them what your ideas are. Don't sit here and not participate and expect everything to run smoothly. That's one of the reasons why I'm giving this little impromptu video to bring some things into the open. And what I'm going to do is on a weekly basis or every couple of days, I'm going to start uploading videos on South Carolina state laws and we'll talk about them in depth. Another law that I'd like to talk about is the minimum speed law. Whenever you're driving down the road and you see two white signs, you see one that says 70 miles an hour, one that says 45 miles an hour, you have a maximum and a minimum speed limit allowed by law. Now, a lot of people are going to say, well, the speed limit is 70 miles an hour, I can drive 80 or 85 miles an hour and get away with it. No, you can't. The maximum posted speed limit is 70 miles an hour. If I, as a police officer, were to go out, and try to stop everybody that was doing two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine miles an hour above the speed limit. I would be stopping people every single minute of the day. How many tickets do you think I could write? I could write a lot. So and I have it in my power to set a threshold as to what I will write a ticket for. Doesn't mean I won't stop you for doing less but I have it in my power to set a threshold and my threshold in particular cases is 15 miles an hour is automatically a ticket if you're going 15 miles an hour faster than the posted speed line speed limit you're automatically going to get a ticket so if you're doing 50 miles an hour in a 35 automatic ticket I may cut you a break I may drop it down but you're going to get a ticket there is no allowed speed above the posted speed limit by law. The maximum posted speed limit is what it is. Technically, under 56.5.15.20, the South Carolina statute for speeding on any road with a posted speed limit, one mile an hour above the posted speed limit is guilty of a crime. Yes, I said guilty of a crime. You didn't know that? You didn't know that speeding was a crime? like burglary, rape, murder, incest. Yes, it is a crime. 
what I'd like to do is I'm going to start hopefully an online petition here soon. What I'd like to do is when it comes to traffic offenses where the state is the only victim, I would like those things to be decriminalized. Now, does that mean that you're still not going to lose your license? No, you're still going to lose your license. But what I'd like to do is instead of threatening to put people in jail over speeding two miles an hour above the speed limit or one mile an hour above the speed limit, make it a civil penalty. A civil penalty. But then you're like, well, if it's just a civil penalty, I don't have to stop for the cops. Well, that is still a crime. Failure to stop for a blue light is a crime in the state of South Carolina. We will follow you, we will chase you, and we will get you for failing to stop for a blue light. It may take some time, and if we have to put the suspect's mother in jail, the father in jail, the sister in jail, the brother in jail, the grandmother in jail, the aunt, the uncle, the best friend, the girlfriend, the fiance, the wife, we're going to put you in jail. It's that simple. But going back to what I'm saying, in the state of South Carolina, there is a maximum posted speed limit and a minimum posted speed limit. If the weather conditions are great, sunny, there's no factors that would cause you to drive slower than the posted speed limit, you need to maintain the posted maximum speed limit allowed by law. If it's raining, if it's snowing, if there's ice on the road, then of course we want you to drive as safe as possible and that means that you have to drive at a speed where you can maintain control of your car. If you have an accident when it's raining and you drive off of the road and you hit a bridge or a car or anything like that, you're going to be given a ticket that says too fast for conditions. What does that mean? Well, it meant just that, too fast for conditions. You were operating a motor vehicle faster than you could con control that vehicle, so you get a ticket for it. A lot of times when there's an accident where a car hits another one from the rear, you're going to get a ticket for too fast for conditions. If you pull out in front of somebody, it may be fail to yield right away, but you're going to get a ticket. So again, why are we doing this? Well, I want to bring the information to the people. So look for this on a weekly address. I'm an officer. I work for a police department here in South Carolina. I want to bring the laws to you. Now there's one other law I want to bring real quick before I sign off and that's raising or elevating a vehicle more than six inches. The law clearly states that unless you're driving a pickup truck you are not allowed to raise or lower that vehicle more than six inches. So any cars out there where you want to put tires on it that are bigger than what would be allowed in the wheel well, you're going to have to raise up the car. You're only allowed to raise it six inches. But the tire can be no bigger than what a factory tire is. Now, why do I say that? Because if you put a larger tire on a car that is raised six inches from the suspension, you will actually raise the car over the six inch height. So if I see that you've got 26 inch tires on the car, and I know that you've got a six inch suspension lift, I know that you're driving an illegal car. Just like I know you've modified your lights if you're driving down the road and the lights are green, red, blue on the headlights. Any modification to the lights is illegal. However they come from the factory, that is required by law for you to maintain. If you alter or change color of lamps, it is against the law. But again, we'll get into that in more specifics later on. But right now, I just wanted to bring this video to your attention. Thank you and have a good day.